Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia Part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And the last parameter that is noto called. What is noto called? This is a very, very important parameter. So, what is a noto called? It is a rod like structure called. The name called itself tells you that it is something like a rod. So it is a rod like structure which formed on the dorsal side of an animal during embryonic development. So starting from that stage of embryonic development, a rod like structure is formed on the dorsal side. Dorsal means the back side. So now can you relate this notochord to any part of our body, any part of the human body? Exactly. Our backbone or the vertebral column. What is that? It is on the back side. It is a rod like structure and how does it help? It gives a, a support to our skeleton. Right? So this notochord is also a similar kind of a structure, a rod like structure which is formed in an animal during the embryonic development. I mean when that embryo develops to form small baby, from that time itself it starts developing. Now, this notochord is basically formed from of cells from mesoderm. It helps in supporting the body. It also plays a very important role in development of the vertebral column. So, it basically this rod like structure, it denotes the primitive axis of embryo. So, when the embryo starts developing, it is like the one of the first axis which is formed in that small embryo. Now, this the presence or absence of this notochord also helps in classifying the organisms in the animal kingdom because it is not present in all the animals in the uh, animalia kingdom. In some, there is no notochord present. In some, there is a notochord present and it is present throughout the lifetime. Whereas in some other animals, it is present during the embryonic stages but when the animal turns into an adult, it is no more present. So, depending upon the presence or absence of this notochord, again, the Animalia kingdom was divided into different types. So, they were divided into two types. One is called chordates and the other one is known as non-chordates. So, chordates are those which where there is a presence of notochord. Non-chordates are those where there is no, no presence of notochord. So, in chordates, notochord is present and in non-chordate, notochord is absent. So this was again a very important parameter. Right? So let us quickly see what are chordates and non-chordates. Chordates, presence of notochord, examples. There is a separate phylum for chordates. You remember the 10 phylum which I talked about under the Animalia Kingdom in that the last phylum was chordates. Now inside chordates again you have a huge variety. So inside chordates again you have many classes like reptiles, amphibia, mammals. They all fall under the category of chordates. When I talk about non-chordates that is absence of notochord. No rod like structure is present ever. So examples are porifers, cylindrates, platyhelminths, annelids, arthropods, echinoderms. So basically those 10 phylum which I talked about, out of that only one phylum is chordates. Rest everything are non-chordates. But then you might ask when everything else is non-chordate, why are they again put into separate, separate groups like porifers and cylindrates? That is the reason why we have considered so many parameters. Because if we consider only one parameter, again we will end up classifying it into maybe two or three parts and then again we, you will need a lot of subclassification. That is why how we are going to classify Animalia will depend not only on any one of these parameters but on all these six parameters which we have discussed now. It will depend on the level of organization, symmetry, coelom, segmentation, notochord. So, Taking everything together, we will try to classify the kingdom Animalia. So in the next slide, we will actually see how the Animalia kingdom was classified based on all these parameters. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.